It is the bounden duty of the medical fraternity to conduct research regularly to find solutions to the pressing issues people have due to the advent of new diseases. Moreover, their central focus should be prevention, not cure. And if we suggest lifestyle changes to ordinary people, we can reduce the burden of the medical fraternity. Based on half-baked research, we cannot conclude. Intermittent fasting is the prime example. It is becoming popular among people. However, less research is available on this. And in the long run, what kind of pitfalls it could lead to still need to be determined. Hence, the higher authorities must know that people should not jump on the bandwagon immediately. The pandemics like COVID provide evidence that the healthcare system worldwide is not robust. The countries are spending heavily on nuclear weapons to protect their interests. However, to safeguard the security of the dwellers, it is worthwhile to pay the state's exchequer for medical facilities so that we have enough resources to tackle an unforeseen contingency. Many experts cite a source to prove their point. However, they show only half of the story because they need more than one source to verify their point. If they can provide a critical analysis of both the ins and outs of a product and service, that is the best way to make the prospective consumer make an informed decision.
Stating an opinion on how to be successful in life is a daunting task with years of data. And by reading the biographies and autobiographies of successful persons, certain learner minds have devised a strategy known as the compound effect that means that you should make small regular efforts every day. And if you continue, then the ripple effect gets into action which leads your life towards an impressive growth trajectory. Raising an issue these days is manageable because numerous platforms are available, especially on social media, where a single post can reach millions of people to raise awareness. The Arab Uprising is a prime example of a movement that started from Facebook and ended dictatorship in various nations. To address the question, we must consider the critical points. Looking at the pitfalls is not significant. We must also look at the benefits. Apart from this, the people who have heaps of experience, we must seek information from them. When we have insights from their knowledge and if there are any stumbling blocks, we should also address them. And this way, we can find the correct answer to our questions. Parents and teachers are the best guides in recommending what teenagers should pursue in a fruitful career. As these people have heaps of experience, they are attached to youngsters. So they know what kind of field would be worthwhile for an individual. Moreover, these people remain concerned about your future growth. So taking their advice is charming.
The KFC's founder made a humble beginning in his life. And he had numerous failures. Finally, when he became a senior citizen, he presented his case to various business people, most of whom rejected his claims however. One of them accepted his idea. And when he finally got the funds and started his venture, it was eventually successful. So, this story tells us that success is inevitable if you continue with determination, dedication, and discipline. We must look at the ins and outs to analyze phenomena properly. A central focus on the positives may present something other than the picture. On the contrary, just thinking about negatives could ruin the setup. So, a balanced approach is necessary to report a product or service's best and worst properly. Outlining a framework before starting your entrepreneurial journey is charming. The roadmap you make helps you design your trajectory and allows you to make changes in your plans. In case they do not work out as per your desires. Explaining a concept to someone becomes challenging when you need more knowledge. In such a scenario, you tend to deviate from questions. And your presentation can go for a toss. Hence, gaining valuable insights regarding the concept you want to explain in front of an audience is imperative to clarify your narrative.
In previous times, challenging the viewpoint of others was not that easy because only a few options existed. However, there are many reliable platforms on which you can easily express your opinion. Other people express solidarity with your idea, and it is straightforward for them to join. Our education teaches us to argue a point when we have apprehensions. There are specific topics that you must avoid, especially religion and politics. However, if you come across a situation where your opinion is for the benefit of the general public, you must express it without inhibitions. The advancements in the aviation sector support a thesis that technology has improved our lives appreciably and is growing by leaps and bounds. Because in the years to come, for most of our problems, technology will take care of them. And there is no denying this conviction that it will rule the world. Just explaining your thoughts is optional when you are in a meaningful discussion. It is worthwhile for you to summarize the points so that the audience can grasp them better because, as we listen to new ideas, we need to remember the previous ones. And in such a scenario, summarizing works like a charm.
The underwriters must evaluate a claim and consider various points before making an informed choice. For the underwriters, their work is highly challenging. And for a layperson, it is daunting to decipher the output. That is why only seasoned people in this field look for a career in underwriting. When discussing a topic in front of a learned audience, we must consider various parameters, especially the critics. Learned people have an edge in cognitive capability. And if a speaker is underprepared, his confidence will decline considerably when the audience asks questions that are a bit tougher. While explaining various reports, especially infographics, it is worthwhile to go for the compare and contrast option because, for an audience, it is easy to comprehend the variations. Moreover, whether a scenario is good or bad is easy to know through comparing and contrasting. However, if there is a plain explanation, it is not worthwhile. To define a term like circadian rhythm, we have to be in the presence of a knowledgeable audience. To a layperson, explaining this concept is challenging because various layers are involved. It is about the internal clock mechanism of our body, which manages our different functions. And for a layperson, it is challenging to decipher. <laughs> 